Hello everyone and welcome back to part 29 of Build the Battleship Yamato. Okay, so if you join me in part 20, I've just finished off uh, all the uh, the fins. I just fared these and sanded them and I kind of wanted to try and get this outside and put a, a primer coat on the uh, on the entire hull. But obviously because I'm in the UK and it's been December and going into January now, we've kind of had some uh, not great weather. So like I say, I've not been able to do that, but that's uh, it's not a bit of an issue. So I'm kind of going to carry on obviously with the, with the build and I can prime it a bit later on. So what I can be working on, I'm just going to turn this over. Okay, so what I'm going to be working on still is I've got this uh, this photo etch four deck, and that's just going to kind of fit in this section here. And it's obviously supplied from the kit slightly uh, over long because obviously everybody's kit is going to be slightly different. So what we can do is obviously just need to kind of offer him up, and then kind of just uh, mark him and cut him to length. So I'm going to take this four deck. I'm just going to place it on the end of this stern block and trying to get it all leveled up on this section. Try and get leveled up the best I can. So I just want to make sure that it's like an equal distance either side. I'm just going to take a sharpie and I'm just going to put a couple of marks just to indicate where it needs to be slightly cut out. So I'll cut this one out first and then we can kind of come back and cut the rest. So I'm just taking a ruler, just popping it onto where I kind of left that one, just taking a craft knife and I'm just going to score it down two or three times. It's quite thin metal this, so you should only take a two or three passes. Do the same on the other side. So we're getting very close now. I just need to do a little bit more refining just down this section, and then we'll be uh, pretty much good to go. It's going to fit in okay. But when you're using these knives, obviously, these craft knives, they obviously all come individually. Uh, where you can snap them off every five mil. So when you're cutting this photo edge, maybe only make one or two cuts and then obviously snap off the edge so you get a nice razor sharp edge again. Okay, to glue this photo edge part onto the uh, four deck, I'm just going to use some of this uh, 60 second uh, super glue. So, obviously, you, you kind of put the super glue on and you get 60 seconds to play with it. Okay, so I'm going to bring the part across without trying to stick my fingers together. Kind of solving it between the finger and thumb. Start to press it down. Just press it down the back section first. Okay, so now this hanger deck's glued down, it's going to go over on the fiberglass pencil and kind of buff it up. And what I'll do as well, it also just kind of push the, uh, push the deck down into the glue. So 
So now the glue is drying on the fore lip, you can turn it attention to this hanging deck. And what we've got to do for this section, we've got like a, we get a set of plans that you have to print out online. And if you didn't plan, there was a plan for the little, uh, obviously, uh, hanger deck template. Because what we need to do is also, we need to add these uh, hanger supports. So it kind of tells you to kind of lay this over the instructions, over the plan. Kind of best you can, leave yourself a little bit of little whack and mill so you can kind of see where these planks run. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, Sharpie and I'm going to make a couple of little indication marks either side. Flip it around and let's do the same on the other side. Okay, so I've just started to mark all these. I've decided it's probably going to be an easier way than this. So what I'm going to do is just going to mark off this, this first one on either side. And then I'm just going to join the lines across with there. So I'm going to just use this as a working point. And all I'm going to do now is just, I'm just going to measure just individual spaces between each one of these. I think that's going to be easier. And trying to get these lines that might not work out right. As long as this first one's fine, we can kind of work off this and we can come on and work down. Okay, now so I can kind of bring the, uh, the hole back across so this glue's dry from the, uh, the fore deck. So now it's a case that's sticking on this, uh, this hanger deck, kind of in place. So let's take some wood glue. I'm just going to paint it on all these sections where it's got a gluing surface. Okay, so now I'm going to just hang your deck across. I'm just going to this in place. And I see, because we're slightly tapered down on this, uh, this deck, I'm just going to tape it. Remember, I've made a couple of marks to draw a little pencil line on either side of there. And I'm just going to put a couple of tags. And I'll just hold that section, put one more for this top section here. And I'll just hold it nice and flat while the glue dries. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I uh, worked on the Yamato, or well, since I filmed on the Yamato, I spent all day yesterday kind of working on this uh, this port side of the uh, hangers ports. And I'll kind of show you how I did that in a minute. But I kind of started off when I was doing it, I kind of started off just following the instructions. And after spending pretty much all day yesterday just trying to build it out there, their way, and then obviously taking things apart and thinking, oh, that didn't look good. I decided to go, I kind of go my own way in the end. And I'm going to uh, show you that process now. Okay, so what you get in the kit, you get these little uh, laser cut parts, and these are kind of laser to the hangers ports. And what we do is obviously we kind of fit all the way across there first. 
And then we kind of came in with another piece of material that came in the kit and you kind of glue that to the front of these supports and then you glue in a little there, uh, like a little channel. Then you glue a front edge and then you kind of glue in all these little triangles. And I kind of just thought it was just a little bit uh, backwards the way you're doing things. And I kind of, as, as I was doing it, I kind of like, once I put all this front row in first, it was all, and then I had to cut them all to length for this, uh, this channel to go in. And all these parts were all very, very loose. And obviously when I tried to cut them all, they were all kind of all, a lot of them broke off. So I thought when I do the, uh, the starboard side, I'd do it a little bit different. So I'm just gonna swap it over to the starboard side. So my plan is this time, obviously I've already got all the support glued in. My uh, plan is this time, is actually I'm gonna glue this channel in first and then I can kind of fill in the spaces with this, uh, with all the supports. And I'm going to, instead of having the markings from the instructions, I'm just going to put these little uh, spaces that I've kind of cut. I'm just going to glue them in and then make a rest of spacer in. First of all, I like to just make up this channel. And I just want to do is glue a free piece of material. I glued obviously the two parts that came with the kit and I just glued in a little bit of material myself. So I kind of like just laminated it, but I left the two parts either side just a mil higher. So I would get this, uh, this channel effect. All I need to do now is I just need to just rip this on the uh, little saw and make it all the same width. So all I need to do is just need to just rip it along this line and just take all this extra material. So I'm just going to get myself just a little piece of material there that's going to act in the middle of a feather edge. And then I'm just going to cut this down. And that's just been cut nice and smooth. We're still leaving us that channel. So all I'll do now is just square it on the ends. And we can use that as a flush end. Okay, so I've brought the, uh, the drawing across that we kind of worked on. And that's when I was showing you the first part of the video where you kind of glue this onto that uh, face plate and then you'd kind of score all these. But what I decided to do is look, do it a little bit more, obviously, uh, somewhat scientific. So I've kind of like just measured all the gaps between all these spaces. And then I've kind of, what I've done is obviously just cut myself some little little spaces and fit in between these for every, every single one. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is just gonna, uh, just gonna measure this, this space at the bottom. I've got three more there. I've got three more right there. So I'm going to transfer that over to this part. So I'm just going to put it on to help to three more. And just draw a pencil line. There. Just draw a pencil line there. So now I'm just put them two pencil lines on. This is where this, this part is now going to kind of sit and just pull up to them pencil lines. They're kind of just gonna sit and get glued in just there. Yeah so in this section here we get this uh, this die cast part and that kind of fits over this section and just fits in something like that. So we just have to meet make sure we leave a space right at the end for about to run about what's this two mil yeah, so I'm kind of just going to put myself a little space at the end and this can be pressed up two more. So that means I'll be able to press that in after round and worry about trying to get in and cut that little section. Okay, so I'm just going to fill my eyes palette up with a little bit of wood glue. So now I'm just going to get this part up and just cut down. I'm just going to fill it up on the back edge with some of this uh, Gorilla wood glue, paste it all the way over and drop it back on this part. Level it up with those lines. And then just take 
a slight damp paintbrush and just wipe off some of the excess. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to make sure these little triangles fit. I'm just going to measure from the edge of this point there, which is that point there. I'm going to measure that across. And I've got 20, 23 mil. So what I'm going to do now is just going to, that's the two mil. So I'm just going to take a, a mark across 21 mil. I'm just going to put a mark there. And now I'm just going to take one of these little little triangles, pop that out, grab it with my tweezers. Quite a tricky part. This one quite easily uh, have these fly across the room. So I'm just going to brush a little bit of glue on. <laughs> That's gone. <laughs> Okay, one more. You get one extra, so uh, if I lose any more, I'll have to make some. So I'll try not to pinch it quite so hard. Brush a little bit of glue along the edges. Bring them across and find that mark I just marked, the one on the outside edge. We can just bring this a touch forward. The same again, just taking that little damp paintbrush, just paint on this at the end. Okay, so what we're doing now is going to uh, kind of look at this plan, and the, the plan for this last little support angle that pretty much comes straight off this one of that first line we uh, transferred to the uh, bottom of the plate. So that's pretty much that one that we drew in. So I can just glue one more in there. Grab it so I don't kind of put too much pressure on it so it forces it to ping off. And then we'll glue this one, this line. Just use these little tweezers to kind of press it down. And then we'll just wipe off the excess glue. Okay, so pretty much all we do then is obviously the spacing between these is two mil. So what I did, so pretty much all I'm going to do now is just kind of get these two mil spacer. I'll sit that across there and then I'll just keep gluing them along. Right, I'll just show you the process. Space, you kind of get a bit of an idea of kind of what the gap is. Take off some of this excess glue and just get this too much spacer and then just press it between and then you can just push them, push them together. That gives you two more space. You can just pull out that. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just glue all these little layers. Uh, little end brackets in all the way to the end and then we'll come back okay so I'm just filled in all these individual sections and that's it I had to uh, show you off camera because the process took around about 40 minutes actually because I say you have to, each one has to just be cut out and then glued and then put a little space between and obviously let a minute to dry okay so now I'm going to move on to these these bigger support brackets and like I said we get these ones like I said they kind of came on the kit and they're going to get cut out and just look like this. So I've just cut the first one down to size, just show, kind of show you the process. And then when I do the next one, I'll show you how to cut them down. So pretty much what we're going to do is obviously we're looking at this drawing. I don't only measure these. So we've got a space in between uh, 3.5. Well, actually, we've got a space in a 4 mil. But actually, this they show you this thickness of these brackets are around about 1.5 mil. But actually, the part supply is actually 2 mil. So I'm kind of losing. 0.5 mil all the way across. When I did the uh, the port side, 
I kind of it was running off. So what I had to do is reduce this from four mil down to three point five, and when that was seven mil down to six point five, and so on. So like I said, I've already cut this one. So I'm just going to take my uh, my glue, just paint all three surfaces. It's going to come in contact. And I'm kind of just kind of eyeball it. I kind of know where three and a half mil is. Just put that in. Drop him down. And now I'm just going to take one of these 3.5 mil spaces, slide it down. Put one against there. I'm going to put one on the front edge as well. And kind of having one at the front and one at the back is going to make it level all the way across. So then we can kind of leave that to dry for a second. Okay, so I'm going to take the measure and just going to go across to the next one. And we'll get where we're touching this uh, this front plate. I'm measuring on this front plate there. And put the uh, ruler right against the hull. We need about 9.5. So these are slightly longer than 9.5. I think they're about 11 mil. So I'm just going to put one up against my ruler. Put it on to about 9.5. And then what's sticking out the end, I'm just going to level it off. Just cut it off. And then just off it up. Like I say, normally it probably just needs a little bit more work, but that's okay. But what I found is it's slightly tapered on the uh, the whole section. So what I'm going to do is just going to do an angle cut. Around about 0.5 a mil at the bottom and flush at the top. And then just bring it across to my file and just file it a little bit more angled. And then try that again. If it's just still too big, we can cut a bit more off. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be okay this time. So I'm going to just smooth off this front edge. Same again, put some glue on all the free gluing surfaces. And take a couple more of these little 3.5 mil spaces, I might say one at the back, one in the front. In them space and just make sure they're pushed up nice and flush. And the good thing about uh, gluing that one in, obviously, yesterday, that's obviously fully set, so that means we can kind of always press them up against that one and we know we're going to be fine. So, pretty much all I'm going to do now is just going to carry on all the way across, just pretty much uh, repeating this system, just measuring it to each one, obviously, measuring the gap because obviously the next one's going to be 2.5, so I've got a 2.5 mil spacer and I'm going to work all the way across until we're finished. Okay, so I spent about an hour just off camera just filling in all these support brackets and I've pretty much made my way all the way to the end. So I've just got one left to fit. So let's look at the instructions. It's another 3.5 gap. Like I say, I've already cut this one to length. They're pretty much the same as I did this one I showed you. And I was just going to drop in there. So like I've done before, just add a little bit more glue. Get my 3.5 spacer, drop that down there ready. It's easy to put this in sometimes, put that in. Just take off a little bit of the excess, but I'll put the spacer in. Nice tie, and that's the uh, the last one fitted. Okay, so some of these can come out. These are dry. 
and just leave that one in while that dries. Okay, so once you've fitted all the spaces, we kind of go to this part. This is obviously like a decorative part that kind of like obviously comes around this boat housing. Because this is obviously the this is the kind of where the doors were where they both would have launched the boats onto the uh, the decking support. So this kind of design where well, this is going to fit just down this edge. It just kind of slides just in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to get a pencil mark. I'm just going to draw a line kind of along there so I kind of get the glue in area. And we can pull this back out. Quite tight fit there. Okay, so I've just kind of already buffed this face up a little bit. I'm just going to do a little bit more work on this. So what I want to show you, I want to show you this new I want to show you this new tool I got for Christmas, and I wanted a little uh, hand hand drill. Obviously, I tend to use the uh, the Dremel one. It's obviously attached like the Dremel arm, and it's 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 good. But a lot of the time is obviously you turn the, the power down that low that it's pretty much and you still could go go down lower again. It's still in the RPM, it's still too fast. So I've been looking. I look around and I found this little USB drill. It's just a free speed one, but you don't see it's just USB charged. You just kind of plug in the USB, and also you got a little chuck. This obviously just pin it with your hand, and you can undo it. Take it on and off, and you get like, and you get a selection of little boxes and little drills. So it's going to be quite handy going forward. So I'm just going to show you just so it's see does it working. So I'm just going to put it onto the speed number two, and I'm just going to bump up my face. And this is going to be a really handy tool going forward, obviously when you want to kind of get in. I'm going to use it again in this section in a minute. So when you want to get in and just have a little hand tool rather than kind of a power tool, it's going to be perfect. And these cost around about £30. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this a second. Okay, so I'm going to glue this into this section now. So pretty much one bit of glue on these three faces. So I'm using a 60 second glue and I like it because you get like a 6 seconds before it fully sets so you've got a bit of time just to move, manipulate the part. So I want to glue a little bit along this edge as well. All along this back edge and a little bit just along this top. Bring it over to the part. Slide him in and then just have to push him in until he looks about right. Like I said, I didn't put any glue on that front edge so we can kind of twist that a little bit later on. Let's take a little bit of this paper towel and just wipe off a little bit of this excess glue. I'll try and remember to wipe your glue in before you put the lid back on because it gets all stuck up like mine did a second ago. Okay, so I can take that space around now. That's pretty much all the uh, the hanger supports all finished at this obviously decorative edge. What we need to do, obviously when we built this, it was just a kind of like a straight construction. So we need to kind of like sand it to kind of put in line with this section. So what I'm gonna do first is take away all these little spaces, I'll save them for later then. I'm just gonna turn, turn the hull onto its side slightly, slightly angled. I'm just gonna carve a little bit of this excess material off. quite a shallow gap there that needs, we'll need filling with some body filler. You want to try and smooth it out. Then once you've done that, just take your sandpaper and just 
kind of work it back and forwards. And you, you kind of start from there and work all the way across. You're kind of like sanding in one continuous piece. Like I say, what you're going to keep doing now is just kind of just the same as the rest of the holy, just kind of just blend him in. Also, this is going to need some, like I say, it's, it's sanding quite nice now, but this is going to quite need a lot, quite a lot of body filler. I'm going to put the ruler across this section here, and we can see that we kind of touch in the, the, uh, on the end and the end there, but obviously we've got quite a gap in the middle. But that will be filled by body filler. Okay, so that pretty much completes all the uh, hanger supports. And this uh, this boat deck opening. Okay, so that pretty much uh, wraps it up for today's video. I'm kind of a bit longer than normal, but there's quite a little bit to do and quite a bit to show you this time. So pretty much we're at the stage now where, like I said, I've been saying for quite a while, but I want to kind of get this uh, hull, its first coat primer on. Like I said, it's a, a nice day in the UK today, so we can get somewhere a bit nicer weather, just so I can take this outside and kind of spray it all. That's what it needs now. Once the first primer coat. And it needs obviously sanding and kind of going over again with another obviously some more body filler and sanding and body filler and kind of uh, pretty much until we kind of get it all nice and smooth and looking something good so anyway hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you kind of want to see some more this is pretty much uh, what my channel is about it's pretty much going to be working on these uh, these wooden construction uh, models so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again next time